Hi. In her emotional and very personal documentary about surgery for breast cancer, Julia Bradbury described how she had had a test done called a SNP test. Now, SNPs are tiny little DNA fragments, and there are over 300 of them that can influence your risk of getting breast cancer. And for Julia, the SNP test was very helpful for her in helping her decision not to have a, a double mastectomy. Now, the really exciting thing about the SNP test is that it works in women, even when there's no history of breast cancer in your family. And Prevent Breast Cancer have been working on its development for a number of years now. The test actually works best when you combine it with another test called a mammogram breast density test. And in addition, with a survey or an analysis of an individual's uh, um, lifestyle factors. And that's because breast cancer isn't usually caused just by your genes, but by a combination of your genetic makeup, your environment and your lifestyle. Now, at present, SNP testing is not available on the NHS. So what do we need to do to get there? Well, Prevent Breast Cancer has been running a large study called the PROCAST study, uh, which has shown that the SNP test could indeed improve the uh, accuracy of the NHS breast screening programme um, by combining it with breast density and uh, a lifestyle analysis. This could lead to a smarter, more effective screening programme uh, by targeting screening more effectively at women at the, the higher risk level. So the next step is to really work this out in a, in a real-life trial uh, or, uh, within the NHS screening programme uh, to work out how to improve the test, what's its drawbacks, how can we make it cost-effective. Uh, and that's sort of the next step that we uh, uh, hope to embark on shortly. Now, SNP testing could also be used potentially to reduce breast cancer in younger women as well. And that's another reason why it's so exciting. Um, the um, SNP testing, therefore, combined with a breast density test, could potentially be offered to women maybe at 30 or 35 years of age to try and predict who's at risk of getting breast cancer uh, before the age of the screening programme. Now, to do this, we first of all, we need to work out to, uh, how to assess breast density um, in young women. And there are researchers who are working on that at the moment. Um, this would... Um, then uh, lead to another trial in young women uh, testing SNP testing alongside a breast density test and again a, a lifestyle analysis uh, to try and give young women early warning that they are at risk and then in that younger age group introducing uh, early screening. So we're very grateful to everyone who supports Prevent Breast Cancer. That gives you a a, a little picture of uh, where we're heading next and uh, we are so grateful to you for your support. Thank you.